Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile Escape from the Pit. Bonus episode! We are back in the lair of Sulphurus the Dragon. I've come back here to show off a bit of content that I missed the first time around. This is actually an alternate save where I can find out what happens if we only have one of the Onyx Scepter and the Magic Circlet. So if we ask Sulphurus about permission, Denied, but it can be earned, and so on and so forth. Silver circlet, that's what it was. But Sulphurus, we brought you the scepter. The scepter was well guarded. Well done. Now get the circlet. In this version, he does not actually take the scepter from us until we also have the silver circlet. So that is one thing. I also discovered there's some dialogue here that has been here all along, and not just in Avernum Escape from the Pit. So, if we talk to the demon Baksha... Drake, Sulphurus is mightiest of dragons... There are five, and this one has bound me. Fah! I was a servant of Erica, and for that I earned good pay. But here I languish. Arch Incantatrix. The demon looks around to make sure nobody is listening. He looks at the walls unusually carefully. Strange. He turns and speaks lowly. But she has not forgiven this slight. One of her statues is here. It is well hidden indeed. If you, like me, are one of hers, you will know what to do with it. And watch out, the walls have teeth. Hmm. <laughs> so, in the remakes, I believe the statue is somewhere around here. That is not true in this case. The only living statue that I've been able to find is over here by the treasure hoard. You sense someone or something is there. It's eerie. No response. No response. If we ask this statue to divulge, I can't help you. How very odd. That is all we get from the statue in this game. Although one thing I did notice, I believe in the remakes you can get a message about the treasure in the southeast corner has a broken alarm. Yeah, alarms don't go off if we rob that one. Hee hee hee. Now, if we rob any of the others, we will get an angry dragon on us. And the same goes for if we take one of the artifacts over here. So, what I'm gonna do... I'm going to do a major blessing. And then I'm going to say, Hey, Sulfras, I don't like your face. Yes, attack. And we're going to ravage enemy. And maybe a shockwave. Well, well, let's see. Yeah, the room is kind of full of black shades. This fight is a bit challenging. Let's do a shockwave to flush him out. Remember when I was really annoyed about finding a black shade in a wall? And remember what the demon said about the walls having teeth? Yeah, that's a thing. The black shades don't move around, they are embedded in pillars and walls around the room. Like so. Now I can try to cheese this fight a bit by uh, super cursing Sulphurus. <laughs> it 
It's very funny to see food dropped in the middle of a pillar like that. Perhaps I should cast a protection? Okay, let's get everybody magic resistant. Throw out a slow group. And a quick revive. Yes, show us what Double Spear can do. Sulphurus has a lot of hit points, so taking him down is going to be kind of a slog. Low on spell points. Well, back to sorting. Oh, maybe not such a slog. The mighty creature rears up when it takes the blow, roars, and falls over. The ground cracks where it lands. The world has one less dragon. And uh, apparently, this message repeats every time we kill a dragon. Now we just have to clear out all the rest of the black shades. Okay, there's still a few left around the edges of the room. Hooray. They are going to take a bit of finding when I don't have the spell points for Shockwave. Okay, now... Is that all, or at least most of them? Nope, there's one. Snaps, I'm is poisoned. Not good. Just a simple revive one person this time. Okay, so there's still black shades, but they're over there. And we cannot deal with special dots while we're in combat mode. Why can't I move across those? Oof. Okay, I am very annoyed at you guys draining me. Ow, hi, where are you? How weird. Oh, and the demon is also angry at us. Quite possibly because we hit him with shockwave. So I'm going to duck outside, cure poison, and rest. To regain spell points, if nothing else. And everyone is still mad at me.
Well, now I know where to look for other black shades, at least. If there is one in this corner... Ha! Found you. Okay. Mal needs poison cured. Let's give everybody some haste. Let's do a better job of curing Mal. How dare you still be alive? Much better. So, shockwave again. And what do you know? It looks like we don't actually need Sulphurus alive to dismantle her barrier. Or his barrier. If we kill the dragon and come back, it goes away on its own. Ha ha! Now, there are definitely some areas where you can kill a dragon too early, you probably don't want to kill Athrin before getting the bit of password he knows. But for the most part, if you really want to, you can definitely just slaughter your way through the underworld. I'm going to cut the episode here because there's really nothing else worth showing in this area. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one, everybody.